Welcome everybody to the road to rank one. Playing another Oriana game, you've probably seen a lot of Oriana gameplay from me lately, which is not surprising because the champ is very strong. Pretty much just picked this game because it's blind picking and it's uh, pretty broken. But I think this should be a good game to learn from. So we're up against Chirp, who's a pro mid laner in OCE, and also he's rank three on the server currently. I think he's like 1470 LP as of the time of this game. So pretty good player for sure. He has gone for the airy, so definitely stronger in lane than me running the phase rush, but I'm probably going to have a better time playing up against, you know, some of the ganks that come out of Hecarim and Thresh. Um, he can maybe get away with it because he is versus Morgana, but having Phase Rush versus Briar and Cassante, I think, can be very nice. So see how, how it goes for him. Um, I've also taken Celerity in my runes, which is, I think Cinder is basically the only matchup I've ever taken in. Just the movement speed is super nice for dodging skill shots. What Cinder skin is this? Oh, it's a Chroma, I was going to say. Never seen that before, but it's looking pretty cool. Um, so with Aerie, he should be stronger in the trade slightly, but also I have my Empowered Autos. So, you know, it's not completely one-sided. Nice from him. So this is kind of, yeah, it's a matchup that is, in my opinion, pretty much just a skill matchup. It's probably Ori favored if you both take um airy but because he has airy he should be slightly favored but again like there's stuff you can do with the phase rush right like you can dodge the ganks you can avoid skill shots with it so there's a lot of stuff you can do he gets the prior on wave one which again probably shouldn't happen like i think ori should prior level one normally but um you know he has the airy which is much stronger than phase rushes early so we're fine with that. We are going to have to respect his level 2. Um, he's placing a ward already, which kind of surprises me. I don't really know why he did that, to be honest. So, a bit interesting. Um, we'll keep pushing this wave. Just want to try to get all the CS if we can. And I think we want to go Merc Treads Rush because, um, obviously, just naturally quite good with Syndra. Doing a good job dodging some of these skill shots. And because he's on cooldown there, I was able to get a nice little trade-in. So that should force him to use a pot. He's also got biscuits. Okay, so he's got a lot stronger early game setup than me. Which means, like, if I don't end, then we should eventually... Um, not so much outscale, but should have an advantage. Like, it's important that you play to whatever kind of, like, setup and stuff you're going for. So if you opt into more scaling, you know, it's, it's hard to say if it's better or worse. But what's important, really, is that you just play around it. So, definitely a little bit behind here, though. How much has Aerie done? He's done 57 damage. And obviously, he's got that biscuit still. So, should be able to CS this fairly safely. Let's walk a bit back. Chuck us the stream. Sorry, pal. I'm recording for the, the road to rank, rank one. Rank one? Road to rank one enjoyers. Uh, just keep clearing this. So, the wave state is not amazing for me because it means that I can't really pressure the lane a whole lot, but it also means that I can't really get ganked or anything. So, it's, it's not too bad. And yeah, I'll be quite happy when I get a bit further in and I get towards some um, items, especially the movement speed, because I think it's a lot easier for Ori to go Merc Treads in this matchup than it is for Syndra. And so, normally that means that you're a bit stronger after the first base. But honestly, it also depends like who comes out of the early game with more gold, right? Get a nice little trade here. Walk forward on that. Maybe get one more auto. Yeah, nice. Okay. And manage to dodge another thing. So I think I'm going to have to go for a reset pretty soon. Um, what am I going to look for? I think I go... What do I go? I think it's going to be... There's definitely a refillable. Nice trade. Just going to ping this. I mean, pretty much whoever comes... Whoever's jungler comes mid first should... Uh, probably just kill the other one he should be more scared of briar i would think because like briar is definitely better at ganking early than hecarim um but yeah honestly like thresh is not showing bot so there's a good chance that thresh could be here i mean it'd be really nice if i'm the one that gets to force him to base first maybe i'll try to lean him towards my briar here I'm just gonna ping him again i really want this to be known that he is very very low when i come place the ward on bot side i'm pretty scared of thresh because i don't see him bot and I hope he's not already in this bush. If he is, I'll be really sad. I, I guess I should check it. Okay, he's not in there. Kind of sucks to lose some mana on that. It also kind of sucks that we can't actually pressure mid. Because I think that could definitely have been a kill opportunity. Um, or at least like something burned. So unfortunately, we're probably just going to have to reset here. I can't really support this. But honestly, I don't think Cinder can support it either. If I can get a tiny bit more gold, it would be the difference between getting Mercs or not. Oh, I missed that. That's really tragic. So unfortunately, this is going to end up being a pretty bad base for me. Just that tiny little strength difference in terms of area and biscuits is going to mean that he has a little bit of a better base. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, Boots, MR, Pink... Yeah, refillable. So I want a lot of early strength. I want the movement speed. I want the magic resist. Wave is in uh, not too bad a spot. I'd say he's ever so slightly ahead of me, which is pretty acceptable. Ooh, getting... He got tier twos and I didn't, so... That is pretty sad, but he also doesn't have any sustain. And also, if you rush magic resist, it's actually quite good against um, Zork Shoes. So I'd say, like, itemization-wise, in terms of, like, just what we've gone for, we might actually be ahead. Um, but obviously, he had that 
just tiny, tiny bit more gold to spend than me. Um, we get a nice little trade here with the phase rush off the back end. Nice. Now, in this matchup, whoever ults first normally wins as well. So I'm level 6. Ooh, dodge the stun. I might look to just ult him here. Gonna try to get aggressive. Yeah, he knows. He has to be really careful. Um, I want to try to get some vision down at some point. Ooh, dinosaur cannon? Nope. Big. So just gonna clear these. And probably gonna walk in river and just try to set up vision. It's really good if I can control the river. Because it means I can be the first one to go to honey fruit if we end up getting chunked. So... That can be really nice. I'm just going to ult him here early for poke, and I'm going to phase rush to try avoid any damage. So I'm actually doing really well at the moment. I mean, Ori is normally... Normally it's like the other way around. Like, Ori wins pre-6 and then starts losing post-6. So the fact that early game was, you know, basically even was kind of weird, but again, it was kind of because you have the stronger early setup. Um, but now, like, we're in a super solid spot. So Zach might look mid, so I'm going to hug heavily to bot side. I do have a lot of vision. So we should be fine. I think as long as we play for this. A lot of people missing. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Oh, so annoying. I thought I was going to be safe hugging to bot side. I then got forced away because their team was on bot side. So really unfortunate. Oh my god. Are we still going for this? We are. I'm just dead, right? Wow. Okay, so a lot of people mid. Damn. I thought I'd be okay there. Hopefully they don't all die here. Oh. Hey, they're gotten pretty low. I think he lives though. Oh no, he dies. Okay, huge. He got out. Well, that sucks. I get Merc Treads. Oh, I can't buy Dark Seal. So really unfortunate base. I'm going to come back on the map with a lot of gold still. I actually can't believe how many people came mid there. Oh, and mid got blue buff. Okay, I'm really depressed. So there's a lot of pressure put towards mid there. And unfortunately, I'm going to be behind in result. Why is my Cassante here? What is this? We're just giving up that top wave? I don't know. I need to try to cancel this reset. Nice. Oh, I should have tried to cancel Cinder as well. I didn't realize she was there. So definitely a rough start for me. I mean, it was actually going. Like, lane was going really well until, you know, basically I got collapsed on by the entire enemy team. I really thought I was going to be fine. You know, like, hugging bot side all that vision. Okay, I see their bot lane, so I'm forced to run away from bot. And then I run into Zach and get re-ganged after. So pretty tragic. She has the blue buff, so I'm going to have to be quite careful with that. I don't think she... Oh, okay, she actually did use flash. So that's one window we could maybe punish. And so I'm going to have my flash up before she does. Uh, but the game is looking kind of rough. Like, the fact that Top was able to gank me and Top is actually losing. Um, Bot is losing too, which is to be expected against... Uh, what's her name? Against Caitlyn. Wow, this guy is Sorks Chapter. And he has a, um, has a blue buff. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. So I'm going to try to keep the wave here if I can. They might just get Herald though. Yeah, not much I can do. I want to try to keep the wave here because I'm scared of getting ganked. Um, and also I want to set up a gank of my own. I don't feel that comfortable pushing out. So if I can keep her here, that maybe allows us to go for a gank after. Yeah, you can see she is kind of scared. Ooh, did we hit that? We did. Okay, so this should be a successful play onto bot. I hope anyway. Yeah, that looks good. So Cinder's going to get aggro here while they know that my jungler is bot. I want to try save alt now. So instead of using it to chunk, I, I do just want to keep it in order to set up ganks. If I can. Mm, looks like Thresh is looking mid. Hopefully I don't get died from topside by Hecarim. It's more likely that Hecarim is doing the Herald. It really sucks that I'm the one just like perma under my tower. She is just like really ahead in items though. So I think here we mainly have to try survive until we get TP. Because there's nothing we can do in the 1v1. I mean the item disparity is just giant. Like look at this. He's up what like 1100 gold on me pretty much. So I can't really do anything. And the fact that I'm actually up a tiny amount of CS is like... I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but it's, it's kind of nice. At least we're not that far behind. I'm just going to have to give up the CS. Um, as long as I can keep dodging the stun, she shouldn't actually have kill pressure. And at least my jungler is actually doing pretty well. So we're, we're kind of happy with that. Um, I have TP and 50. Hecarim just got Herald, so he could be making a player. He could be resetting to bot side. It's not particularly clear. Um, yeah, okay, so TP and 40. As long as I live this window, I should be fine, and I can use ult if I need to. Okay, her using stun on the wave I think is pretty bad, because that means that I'm able to just live this window for sure. Unless I'm getting dived. Okay, I'm getting dived. <laughs> I'll try ult this. Can I kite this out? No, but it should be one for one. Okay, pretty good, all things considered. Sucks that Syndra gets another kill, but honestly, like, yeah, I think that's pretty solid. Now I'm given the position we're in. Now, definitely going to go Leandries this game. Looks a lot better. If Syndra gets another kill, I will actually freak... It's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, nice. Um, so I'm going to wait a tiny... Oh, actually, no, I'm going to go Dark Seal. I was going to say, wait a tiny bit gold for Amptone, but I'll just get this. I'll TP here in five seconds. So, I don't know. We're still pretty far behind the 1v1, but we've. I'd say we've, like, recovered. We're going to have Flash soon. Oh, she gets a play. Dude, she just gets so much more gold than I do. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. 
Okay, so she chunked me a bit, but she should be looking for resets so I can push this out. And I really want to try to get my vision down if I can. She's actually not resetting yet, so I think she's trying to stay on the map and greed for item. Which, I want to try to stop that from happening. I wanted to force... I want to force a base out of her before she gets mythic if I can. I'm gonna come toward top side. Maybe... Okay, we found Hecarim, so that's good. Get a nice little chunk in, phase rush out. And I have Flash now, so I should be okay. I shouldn't be too scared of ganks. Obviously, the 1v1 is still a little unfavorable because she's going to be able to TP back at some point. But, you know, we might actually be in a pretty solid spot. Like, uh, all things considered, we're going to come out of the lane phase relatively even, despite, you know, having phase rush and her having airy. So I think we've been doing a pretty good job of trading. Nice, looks like they're going to get a kill top. I did lose a lot of HP here, so I need to make sure that if she goes for this base that I... Um, has a, oh, do they win that? Looks like they do. Okay, so Syndra should be recalling. I might actually ult. Oh, I don't have ult. I was going to say, I might ult the wave. Because she should TP here. Yeah, okay. So, actually, I'm not going to be able to crash this. This is kind of bad. Um, I want to look for something. Okay, so she used stun. She, ooh, Morgana left me. I thought Morgana was going to stay. Yeah, now I'm kind of cooked. So I should have just committed a recall, but I thought Morgana was going to stay. Well, anyway, I'll clear this, and I'm probably just going to have to give up a wave, unfortunately, which sucks, but basically it's just bad tempo. Or I could stay in case Cinder roams. Okay, Cinder's not roaming. So, yeah, just going to have to give up a wave. It's pretty unfortunate, but I think it's just the kind of the state we find ourselves in of being, you know, fairly far behind. But at the same time, like, they put a lot of pressure mid. Like, we're not really expecting to be ahead if they invest this much into mid, right? So we're going to lose another plate, which can be pretty bad, because if you lose two plates mid, it opens up the opportunity to get your tower heralded, which feels really bad. Like, that's when the gold really becomes an issue, and it makes it easier for them to break mid tower later on. Um, now, mid 2v2, I don't know how I feel about it. I think we probably still lose. Like, oh, and I'm getting ganked again. Probably still lose. Okay, I need to be really careful. I don't see Thresh, and we've got Zack on the top side. Um, I might actually look for ulti here. Okay, good dodge on the stun. Still don't see Zack showing in top wave. I'm gonna really heavily hug to bot. This is good though, because I can actually get to this bot fight before Syndra can. I'm just gonna drop a ward behind me. And just keep running. Okay, they're pretty low, but it looks like the play is done. Oh wow, they're so low though. So Syndra's gonna try cheese me on the way back, and I want to... Hmm, Briar can't... She's a bit low. Okay, yeah. Well... Is she really doing drag? That seems greedy. Because, like, because I roamed to that, now I don't have Pry on this wave. Well, I don't know. Maybe she can get it. But I'd be a bit worried about Cinder roaming here. Uh, I guess we have that vision on the bot side, so maybe it's fine. I don't think Cinder will ever roam top because it's two tanks. I'm really surprised he's going Leandri's, by the way. Like, against against Cassante? I feel like the the uh, Leandri value over Ludens is so insane. Okay. Um, ooh, I was almost in range. I might just alter it. Uh... I don't really want to alter for poke. I, I, I wanted to earlier in the game, and I think it was good earlier in the game, but now I think having it for team fights is good. Hmm, dies to jungle. I'm gonna ward over this wall. I can actually run bot again. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here before Cinder. It's actually good that I'm being able to move to these so much earlier than Cinder. I think she's kind of misplaying. Um, don't think I can kill this guy, but we can kill Hecarim. Okay, that's good. And I think I probably just have to reset because I don't see Cinder. Ooh, okay. This is probably watered then. Or maybe she's blinding it? I could actually come lane here. Gonna look to flash on her. Yeah, nice. So I flashed forward there just to make sure I'd catch her with the ulti. Um, I can probably stay bot here and have my bot laner go mid. Without phase rush, he can probably chase her down. I have shield for him. Oh, yeah. Nice. He did well with the E as well. Okay, no stun. I think she's dead. Speed you up. Nice. Okay, so big misplay from Cinder there. Um, this could be really good. I wonder if I can get this bot tower. I don't think I can. I think, yeah, I think Caitlyn might be... Oh, there's a Hecarim that just tp behind me. I'm going to run. I just saw that on the map that he went through the Hex Gate. So I think I just need a reset. This also sucks because I still don't have enough for Leandri, which is pretty late in the game. But again, you know, it happens sometime. I can TP mid if Hecarim looks for this. Okay, he ended up going there. So I'll probably save my TP and then just try instantly reset when I have enough gold for Leandri's. Um, so it kind of works out, I think. What happened top? How did he die? I don't know. Okay, so this is Cinder TP. She does not have all flash, so they should be fine mid. I mean, hopefully they don't die. Is he really going something that's not void second as well? I think he's really trolling his build. I'll talk about it in a sec. Let me just check if I can do anything for this play. Ooh. Bit deep, maybe. 
I think I killed it. Oh my god, never mind. I'm just dead. Not dead. Maybe dead. God damn it. Dude, this guy is such a weapon. Okay, well, he went down eventually. Oh, it's still awkward though, because I don't have enough gold for Leandries and mid gets mid tower. Okay, pretty tragic. Um, oh, this is first tower as well. Yeah, really bad. I'm, I'm like, honestly, the rest of the game, I've been doing okay, but that was like a really, really bad death. I mean, that gave so much gold over to them. That was, yeah, that was not... Oh, they actually had a tower, actually. They got a top tower. <laughs> okay, so what can I do here? I mean, I can sell this. I have Leandries very soon, but I don't have it quite yet. Could TP bot? Oh, I don't really want to TP bot without Leandries. Does he have a shutdown? He does. I think I just TP on him. Down to chase this, actually. Cinder might be coming, though. Oh, now I don't have Leandry. Oh, I didn't even see that. He doesn't have a flash. Okay, well, that guy's just trolling. I don't know what that's about. Is he still going to go for it? I don't think so. Okay, Cinder went top, so this kind of worked out. Now, because I don't have TP, I need to stay on the map for quite a bit here. Um, yeah, I need to stay on the map for a bit because I still have full HP for mana, and I don't want to base into base again because it'll just be, like, really bad tempo-wise. So I'll try to stay on the map. I'll try, like, push out the waves. Um, thankfully, we got to play onto bot side. And can I walk to this? Um, no, I don't think so. I think I just play for mid-tower. Yeah, I'm just going to get mid-tower and then look for a reset. Uh, and after that, I'll talk about the Zen randomization. There's just been a bit too much going on to talk about it. Wow. That is incredibly strong. Look at him go. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Maybe I should have come earlier. I mean, I thought I was just going to... Okay, now I'll reset. So I'll finally get off the map. All right, so the center itemization. So first off, I think like Ludens is pretty bad if you're not the solo AP in your team, right? So he's also got a Zac that we can itemize MR against. Um, and on top of that, like we have a really big tank. Like we've got... Um... Zach. To go two times. We have like a really beefy tank with uh, this Cassante, and also Briar like has a lot of effective HP because of all their life steal, which makes Leandri's like really really strong, right? And then on top of that, like second item, once you see this, you have to go void second. There's no yeah, see, so he he already invested in the ruby, and then he just like had to go to the void. So this really sucks for him. Like there's no doubt that it sucks, but. Yeah, if he'd just gone for whatever item this was going to be, like, I guess that was going to be a Shadow Flame, it would have been absolutely awful for him. So it's good that he realized um, and changed, but it also kind of sucked for him, because, like, whenever you're forced to build Void Staff second, you just feel like you do absolutely no damage. And it's good for me that um, no one on their team has a lot of MR yet. So I can't do anything for that guy. We should be able to support this Herald play, though, on the top side. Yep, so this should be just gone, I think. Um, I think I will go Banshees as well. Again, the MR against double AP is really good, and their ADs, I think, are kind of weak. Like, the Caitlyn's really far behind, and the Hecarim, I mean, the Hecarim's an issue 1v1, but in team fights, I actually don't think it'll be a problem, especially because he's going to be focusing on Jinx probably rather than me. So I push this mid wave. We could maybe dive Syndra on top. Um, let's walk into here and get some vision. I should be fine to face check. Ooh, okay. So Syndra, if she wants to go top, we could maybe kill her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come stand here. This should be warded, but if it's not, we can get a cheese kill. So we could probably be on midwave, and this is a bit cheesy, um, but I kind of like it. I think whoever's under this tower probably dies. Okay, Caitlyn's there, so this should be Syndra. Maybe she's respectful. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, wait, that's Zach. Okay, that guy's pretty tanky, but I think he still dies. Okay, nice. So we get a good cheese pick onto the Zach. If I can get this shut down, then Oh, lovely. Lovely. Alright, so we can keep pushing with this Herald. This is kind of good. I mean, it was really cheesy, but it, I think it worked out pretty well. And I don't think it was, like, super low. Do we really not want... I swear we want the inhib, man. Oh, I don't know. Like, I, I swear, like, early inhibs are actually good. Especially top inhib, because it pressures Baron really hard. Oh, I'm actually quite close to Banshees. I might try to stay on the map. Uh, is there anything to farm, though? I think I'll just stay top and keep farming waves. I, I have TP. No wave to play properly? I don't know. I, I swear it's... I swear it's fine. Uh, we'll see. I guess we'll see if it's an issue. I can let him push this out a bit, and then I can farm it when it's a bit closer. Although Hecarim's bot, so I'm only... It's only scary because of 1v1. And the 1v1 is kind of scary. Like, she is reasonably strong. But I'm pretty strong now, too. Okay, dodge the stun. So I'm going to just stay on the map, I think, until I have Banshees. Zach might Hextech Portal on me. Yep, okay. So I'm just going to run away from this. Until this Zach shows somewhere, I'm just going to play, like, an absolute pussy. I'm just going to hide in a bush or something. Ooh, he might even chase me. Just gonna recall here, I think. I'll probably sell this D-Ring and pick up Banshee. Are they doing this? No shot. Okay, I can base TP to this play. Make sure they get out. Oh, I don't have pink. 
Can I get it? Not quite. Okay. Wow, they're actually doing this. They're, they are psychos for this. There's no way this ever works, by the way. Yeah, look at them. They're so low. And this guy is just inting. Okay, so we just get Baron off this. To, to be honest, I don't know what this was meant to be. Like, I don't... There's just no universe they can ever... Oh, okay, nice cheese. Can I look? I think I can. But I think you're all dead for that, no? <laughs> I think you're all dead for that. Okay, whatever, man. What a weird game. I don't really know what to say. I mean, what they did the first time was random. I, I like the cheese. The cheese could kind of work out if they weren't all so low. I mean, I don't have to do anything here but buff the boys. Okay, I mean, weird game. Very weird game. So we'll just come and do Baron. I don't, I don't see any way we lose this now. Uh, the game, I mean. So I'll just hit this and I'll probably just reset with the rest of my team here. I mean, I definitely can't stay on the map with my current HP and mana. So we'll just DPS this down and then we should be in a really good spot. I can't really buy anything here. I could maybe build towards Void, but I don't think I need it. Although, maybe. Like, I'm gonna... Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm only really gonna be hitting Zack, so I guess I go Void as well. We'll go for this. So from here, I don't have TP, so I probably just want to group up with my team and pretty much just, like, support Jinx and Briar. I mean, they're the carries, so I don't really have to do anything but support them, and it should be pretty simple. They haven't reset for a long time, though, so they have a lot of gold, which means they might... Okay, so the tempo is kind of delayed. So because these guys' tempo is really delayed, I'm gonna just come do blue instead, because basically I can't pressure the map right now until they're ready to pressure as well. So I'm just gonna come here. Wow, this is so tanky now actually just takes forever what is this okay morgana made the mistake of pressuring when the team wasn't ready so uh now we're fighting for that i guess i'll get this and run to it oh nice okay they got the kill this is zack tp i believe yeah i'm gonna pink top side okay he's already charging jump this is good nice flash from jinx i can shield her over wall i wonder do i need to ult her? probably not right i'll just keep buffing her these guys just look super dead I still have ulti if we need it. I'll probably look for... Uh, what's her name? That that girl. What's her name? Syndra. Get him. I mean, I don't have to do anything. Like, straight up, I'm pretty much just a support at this point. So, I could TP top if I... Oh, I don't have TP. Hmm. Well, we'll keep pressuring mid then. Don't think we can end through top anyway, so we'll just try and push out through mid and bot. Um, just keep doing this. This is good. Yeah, he has Void second, which, like, you have to do it, but it feels so bad, you know? You just do no damage, which is really, really sad. They've got to fix this, man. I swear it's, like, the number one problem with mid lane. Okay, so we should get this. Hecram is up. I still have ulti, and he might not realize that I do. So we can get this, and I think we get this as well. I have shield for Jinx if she needs it. Don't be scared. We can hit. Okay, now let's leave. So we can play towards bot side and dragon here. Briar isn't on the map yet, but she will be soon. Um, he cancelled it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're... Ooh, okay, this looks good. I can shield Cassandra. I mean, Cassandra is just unkillable, so... I might try... Okay, that guy's just dead. I'm gonna try and look for ult on Caitlyn here if she walks up a bit too far. Um, can I get ult? I mean, everyone's just dying. Do I even need to ult? Doesn't look like it. Um, okay, well, I think we're just gonna end. Wow, this guy's a psycho. I'll walk around up here. Um, yeah, I mean, not much to say. I think the game is just over. I mean, it was a very weird game. Um, like, yeah, it was definitely a very, very strange game. And there was a lot of pressure put towards mid early, and I don't think I played around it that well. Like, I think dying to that Zack gank was really bad. Uh, ma managing to kill Hecarim, though, in the one-for-one -one trade, I mean, I think that was, like, really good. So, we take those. Just clear this. And I'll, I'll look to ult Cinder here or something. Like, shield. I'll just ult Hecarim. Nice. And I think we can kill Syndra as well. Which is pretty low. Can we dive her? How are we feeling, fellas? Okay, nice, GG. So, I mean, it was a game, honestly, that I feel like had not too much to do with the mid laners. I mean, I suppose, like, there's an argument that she got a lot of pressure mid and so then should have been able to carry. But honestly, I don't think that's that great an argument anymore because I, I feel like a lot of it is due to itemization. You know, like, if... If you're the only person on the team that can carry and you're playing an AP champ, you have to build Void, but by building Void, you basically can't carry. You know what I mean? It's like this catch-22 of... It's very hard to be a solo carry as an AP mage at the moment if you're literally the only one on your team that's useful because magic resist is so much better than percent magic pen. I mean, you can see this game, like, I was quite comfortable being a support, right? And, and like, I could say that pretty easily because my entire team was fed. But it was very difficult for Syndra, who actually got very strong, to do anything with it because she's 
he's forced into this really shitty itemization. And I think, yeah, again, like like I was saying, this is like the probably the worst part about mid lane is when you are forced into this void stuff second, it feels so, so terrible. So I don't know, like I said, weird game. I spent a lot of time um, just kind of under my tower trying to play defensive after we fell behind early. I was actually in a good spot. Like, I remember after I got that ult on her at 6, I was in a really good spot, but then after I died of that gank and sent her the kill, we ended up really bad. So, anyway, I'll still upload the game. Like I said, Chirp is a good player, so um, it was a. I think it's a good game to learn from. It's a game where I can't just, like, do whatever I want in the laning phase and kind of get away with it. And I think, yeah, it was, like, pretty even laning phase all things considered, and um, yeah, he's enjoyable to play against. And also, it's so good to verse people higher rank than you because you get tons of LP. So plus 33, we do take those. Currently sitting at, I think we're, yeah, almost 75% win rate in GM, which is pretty, really nice. So if you guys did like the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.